Um, I'm just going to like to take one from the back, if possible. Um, the very back, yep. Hands up, Joe. Yep. I have a question. I think this is mostly relevant to the girls, because Mill probably didn't really wear armour or anything. Um, and my question is about costumes and stuff, actually, surprisingly enough. Um, so what I want to say to the girls, obviously, there's a photo of your wearing in the first costume Um, I think, I think um, it, the only way it affected was getting hot or getting cold. Um, I think the dress, the dresses, well, in my experience, were really annoying. <laughs> but I'm in trousers now, so it's okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, uh, they, they, I don't know. Um, I think I've, in a couple of the scenes, Arya, like, hooked up her dress with her belt and things like that, and made it easier for herself but I, what I liked about um, the costumes is everyone would always have a different idea like actually you know our, um, Ari is a bit more practical than that she would roll up her sleeve she would lift up her dress she would like you know that's the sort of things that she'd do and I like how they sort of personalised it because even though it was hot Sansa wouldn't have rolled up her sleeve she would have kept them down and sat and had it all nice and like steamed and stuff and not all creased. <laughs> so, um, but uh, yeah, it was definitely the sort of hot and cold business, which which was kind of annoying. Like, when we were over in Malta, the the dresses got really, really hot. And that was just in the dress. I mean, the people in armour, I don't know how they did it. That must have been horrible. But um, yeah, I think that's how it affected me anyway. But uh, just some of jo Sophie's dresses got a bit more elaborate towards the end. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, I fell over a few times in the dresses because they're so long <laughs> and the amount of running scenes I had to do. Um, and also, because my dresses got a bit more elaborate towards the end, I had the corset and um, that kind of affected my breathing pattern a little. <laughs> so that, that was kind of hard, especially for... Um, Ned's beheading when I kind of had to scream. <sighs> um, but yeah, there was definitely an issue with warmth. But now they have heating in the paint hall. I'm so happy. Um, <laughs> but the people in armour, they had to have ice packs and they had to keep pouring water down themselves because yeah. I don't know how they would have got through it without that. I mean, is it, there's there's the costume and then there's everything that goes with it. People just sort of pass it by, but actually it plays a really big role and there's, you've got to have your mic pack on as well and that slips down, you've got to keep pulling it up and there's loads of different layers that you have on like a flesh tone thing underneath so you can't see your mic pack and then they have to have it up here and make sure it's a bit muffled and it's, you think it's just go on set, do the acting, come home, go to bed. But there's so much, there's so many little things in between that make it a lot less easy, which, yeah. Um, like people fussing around you every time, just before you about to do a take. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, of course, we couldn't do it without them, but um, it's kind of when you're really hot and you're trying to think of everything and you're getting into sort of character and stuff and you're thinking about what you've got to do, and especially if it's sort of like a not a crime scene, but like an emotional scene, you really got to keep focused and then be like, okay, okay, okay. And then, and then they'll be like rolling and someone will just come up and be like, oh, how did you do that? It's like, oh. yeah. Can I take any pictures? And yeah. you're like crying, ready for the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah come on. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah, we couldn't do it without them, but it, it is, is tricky, so, yeah. But uh, I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Can I uh, put a question to the boys at the end? Um, um, you, you guys, um, I guess you're, you're the youngest here, at least at, at this table. Um, are your parents allowed to come with you on set? Uh, yeah, our parents, yeah, all the time. But I think they chaperone us, so I don't think they're allowed to not come till we're <laughs> They have to come. Yeah. They have to come. Till we're around 16. And how, how do they keep you amused? Because a lot of the time, I guess, you won't be filming. You know what I mean? A lot of yeah. time, other people will be working. Like, in the trailer, there's loads of people to talk to, like the crew. 
Um, so there's Macy, Sophie, Isaac, Tom, or Callum. <laughs> <laughs> um, just uh, got home and stuff and everything again. Angry Birds and. Yeah. <laughs> and I suppose they let you play with the dragons. I mean, they're still small enough to harm us. <laughs> I always wondered if they bite, you know, and just, but I, I guess you're not allowed to say that. Um, okay, we, we take a, another question then, and someone, someone there. Um, orange t-shirt looks like a pod. Yeah, um, characters who died in the first season, will those actors be coming back in the second, maybe in a different role? Characters who died in the first season, will they be coming back in a different role? Um, is this I, Twilight, in other let's, words? Let's have, at, let's have a look at who that question might be aimed at. <laughs> How on earth could I possibly answer that question? I, I think I know what you're getting at, but um, uh, well, it's sort of left unknown really, isn't it? And it still is now. I don't think that the twist is going to come, going to be explained at all this season. But um, yeah. <laughs> just, just watch it. <laughs> isn't um, is it not true, Missy, that Ned's coming back as a floating head? Like <laughs> <laughs> <In> Futurama. <laughs> But, but seriously, uh, Miltos, like, is there no room for a Neanderthal in series two? <laughs> is, there, is there no kind of... Yeah, I think that, you know, like, instead of, like, the thracky hordes, you just have Neanderthal hordes. <laughs> oh, yeah, you get all those calluses on your knuckles, like, brilliant. Yeah. Does that mean three people? <laughs> three people in the magic of CGI. All of them using um, Hodor's prosthesis. So it'd be, be fantastic. Um, uh, do we see another question anywhere? Oh, I see a hand there, kind of um, in the middle distance. Yes, go for it. Um, yeah, I was just wondering, um, how has the shift from Malta to Croatia um, affected anything, if it had, you know, for, for the second season? I don't really know why they went to Croatia, if from Malta, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, they, they, I don't know, I can't really answer that question, but I don't know why they did. I think... It was Malta was so small that there wasn't much else apart from what you saw in the first season. There wasn't there <laughs> many other places, so I think that might be it. Yeah, they they found a great castle wall over there. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, yeah, it is absolutely. They've seen the photographs. They've seen the photographs of the castle wall and all the lovely little walkways and the gardens and the cafes that all our directors and cast are sitting at <laughs> and um, the wine that they're drinking. Yes, it's, you know, it, yeah, that's why they've gone to Croatia. <laughs> yeah, Dubrovnik is, is pretty amazing. Um, and uh, these guys have just made it more amazing by, by turning up there. Now that I've finished kissing behind, so anyone got another question there? Uh, I'm just going to, just over here, it looks like uh, Carol. Um, is there less pressure on you now that the show is not that scrappy underdog, it's a, it's a hit, or is the pressure really on now to continue it as a hit? I think there's even more pressure now because if we, 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 we sort of want to make the set, we don't want to better ourselves too much because if it does go to a third, then we have to go up again. But no, I don't, I think, uh, uh, I think that, um, there's more pressure on this time because now it's saying, okay, this the, this this series is good. Now it's going to be better next season. It's like, okay, yeah, yeah, it will be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, I think that's just the way it goes at the moment. But uh, I think it, some people would look at it as being less pressure, but for me, it definitely. It, it kind of works both ways, doesn't yeah. it? Because because uh, you know, obviously, it, it was. They're very successful books, so they, there's immediately that kind of pressure to there's expectation, but from people apart from that, outside of that, uh, you know, the kind of let's say the fan base or the readership base, it's it felt you know when you make the first one, you then you're going okay maybe there isn't so much to prove, but of course now there's 
there's that feeling that, okay, so, so more people know about it, more people are expecting it, so now there, there, is, there is that, but it's, it, it swings both ways. I think it's uh, all right. Um, there you have it, it swings both ways. And